Hello everyone, welcome to the Network Security Algorithm Series. Today we will be doing the Mono Alphabetic Cipher. This cipher is a substitution cipher where we don't use any key. Uh, actually we are using our, uh, we have a substitution table. So as you can see I, I have just represented from A to G but it can continue up to Z. So every plain text alphabet is replaced by a unique cipher text alphabet but uh, there is no key like something in case just as in case of caesar cipher if we write a as d then b is of course e and so on so every alphabet is displaced three places to forward okay but here there is no such type of relation so uh, here we have random substitutions like for a we are replacing q for b we are replacing d for c we are replacing x so there is no relationship which is guiding us to uh, right for a q then b we cannot guess this d okay so the only the sender and receiver who have this particular table they can only uh, have this uh, particular they can only crack this cipher by the way uh, in order to have uh, in order to crack this particular code almost 26 factorials uh, attempts are required so if if a, if a person is able to crack suppose for a to q then b because there is no relationship between a to q and b to d so that uh, attacker may require uh, almost like 25 factorial attempts and so on so the total attempts would be almost 26 factorial so this is a little bit uh, secure as compared to other uh, added ciphers but of course uh, this cipher can be cracked by using the frequency of the alphabets like if a is coming in in suppose in in a in a particular text if a is coming 10 times for every a we have q so in case of english alphabets the in case of english language the alphabets a e i and so on they are frequently repeated so attacker has a chance to crack this but uh, not that much easy so this is the explanation of mono alphabetic cipher now the java code for the same uh, implementation of mono alphabetic cipher will be explained by professor yashira okay students today we are going to see how we can implement the mono alphabetic cipher uh, with the help of java code so this particular program we are going to run in netbeans now see students mono alphabetic cipher is actually a cipher you know where the letters of the plain text they are mapped to the cipher text letters and you know it is based on a single alphabetic key like you can say it is a one to one mapping so you know whichever plain text we will provide the task of this particular algorithm is to implement the uh, mono alphabetic cipher wherein if suppose if i give you the input as i smile so you know it have to encrypt the message according to the set of characters which we have mapped so as you can see over here the very first step over here we are going to create the mapping can you see one particular part i have declared as a normal care and the other uh, part i have declared as the coded care so what approach we are using students we have created two care arrays can you see over here public static care over here public static care over here so one uh, care is for nor normal alphabets and another is for the encoding say coded care so this is the normal character a b c d e and this is the one to one mapping a is mapped to q b is mapped to w c is mapped to e and so on so basically this is our approach wherein we have used two care arrays one is the actual or normal characters and this particular array is the mapping now the next part of uh, this particular program is to use two important functions so the very first function which i have used over here is the string encryption as you can see over here public static string string encryption so the string encryption this particular uh, uh, is the function now this particular uh, function students will pass the string that is the string with all the characters in lower case as a parameter and you know it will initialize an empty string can you see over here encrypted string 
this particular encrypted string is the empty string and students next we have used the for loop now why we are using this for loop students we are using this for loop so that we can compare each character with the normal char array and you know whenever the condition is true it will add the character with the corresponding index of the coded array like for example if in the input i have provided i so what it will do this for loop will evaluate which particular i is mapped with for example in uh, at the at the above code we have declared one normal char and one coded char so i will be there in the normal char and it will check the mapping for i and uh, and with that particular thing it will uh, encrypt the string so students this for loop we are using for comparing each character in a string and whenever the condition will become true it will add the character with the corresponding index of the coded char where it will add to this encrypted string this is the reason we have uh, initialized it as empty and you know uh, in this case of special characters what we can do is we can add them directly to the string the next very important function which we have implemented in our particular program is the string decryption now students what we are going to do in this function we are going to pass the encrypted string over here and you know uh, as a parameter and same uh, concept we have used over here we have used one particular variable decrypted string as an empty string we are initializing this as an empty string and you know in the same way we are going to run the for loop uh, and we are going to add the character with the corresponding index of normal char to the decrypted string is it understood and at the end we are just going to in the main we are just going to print the result so can you see i have passed the uh, string as i smile academy and when i run this particular code the very foremost output what i will get is it will first encrypt the string and at the next time it is going to decrypt the string so i will just show you how we can run and check the output can you see over here students the plain text is the i smile academy as we have passed over here the encrypted message is this particular thing and the decrypted message is is the actual plain text which we have provided so this is the implementation of mono alphabetic in java thank you